Welcome to the Shimatsu video series. This will be to how to change the syringe for an AOC20i auto sampler. It is currently mounted on a GC17. This will also fit on a GC2010 and GC2014. So this auto sampler has a uh, quite a wide variety of instruments it will fit on. You start by opening up the top. There's a little catch here on the top. You want to hit the stop button. What this will do is it will release the holding voltage on the motor that for the plunger. Just make sure you press it in really well. When you do that, you should be able to manually move the plunger up and down with your thumb. Then unscrew the, the holder for the plunger and then manually move the carriage up and you can take the plunger holder out. You want to keep that safe, you'll be using it again. To actually remove the syringe, there's sometimes a plastic fitting on the syringe body right here that makes it very easy to pull out. If that's missing, it can be accidentally thrown away sometimes. You can take a set of tweezers and actually pry forward the top of it. And you want to start at the top. There's a little restraining clip right there. Just pop him off. And you can pivot him out from the top and actually remove the syringe. It's usually a 10 microliter syringe. You can have a number of them, but the 10 microliter is the standard that you most likely want to use. For reinstalling it, you want to take a new syringe. You generally, it doesn't have to be, but if it's better if you face the numbers towards you so you can verify the injection volume. If you look in the bottom, you want to make sure that the needle goes into that little hole down there first. It will bend the needle if you don't make sure that that is properly aligned. Then install the syringe so that the top plate that's right here that I'm touching gets pushed in so it's below this lip right there. That's exactly how it should look. You can reattach the clip, reinstall the plunger holder, so simply slide that over the back of the plunger and manually move the carriage down on top of it. At this point it's not too critical that you get that perfect. Just simply tighten it up. There's a second step to this process. Close the door and hit the reset button. What that will do is it'll home the carriage itself so that this, uh, the carriage is properly in its home position. At this point you want to loosen this nut and push down on the tip of this plunger holder. See how that just went down a little bit? What that will do is that there's a little bit of variance in each plunger for each syringe. That will make sure that this guy is completely bottomed out for the home position of this motor. Once that's properly pushed down, tighten it again, close the door, and finish by hitting reset. Make sure that you got all zeros and that you don't have any minus error codes.